Hello everyone, I'm Colin Kinnett. While I've got this Maxiwa Edger and Bander here, I'm going to take advantage of it and do a little project that my wife has been asking me to do, a little cupboard for her laundry room. And I'm going to use some of this double-sided melamine, so stick around and uh, let's do that build. And now I need to cut all the pieces to length. Here's our five pieces for our little cabinet, uh, the two sides and the three shelves. Now the next thing I need to do is to cut dados in the two sides and in the top. But the other two shelves are inside the dado, so we use the same setting. We just cut that right off. I'll show you what I mean. On the back of the cabinet, I'm going to use a cleat system, and I know it's hard for you to see, but there's what that looks like because it's white on white. Uh, and it has, you can see it has an undercut angle on it, and that will go all the way across the top of the back of the cabinet. On the wall, there will be a mating plate, a mating piece like this, and it will sit on the wall like that so that when I go to lift the cabinet on the wall, it will just sit in there like that. Now what I need to do when I'm cutting the rabbit for this, I'm going to use this cleat because I already know how wide this is, so I'm going to use this as part of the measurement. So watch how we do that. So first of all, I want to set the height of the blade. I'm not going to bother trying to measure it. I just use one of my little measuring bars and I'll put a link for that so you'll know where those are. Now I'm not going to make any measuring for the dado because all I know is that there's going to be a cleat on the back and it's going to be exactly that width. So all I need to do now is put that cleat up against the fence or against the blade and adjust my fence to right there and now when I run my boards through that's where I'll cut the dado and for the boards that are going to be inside the dado I'll just raise the blade and cut them right off. Now that my sides and shelves are all the proper width, the next thing I need to do is put a nice face on them so that they all match up. And I'm going to be bringing in the edge bander and the edge trimmer to do that. We'll have that job done in no time. Now that all my pieces are nicely edged and banded, uh, the next thing I need to do is assembly. And for that, I'm going to be using these corner brackets, so I'll clamp my pieces to that. Uh, not only does that keep my um, pieces uh, square to one another, uh, or right angles, um, but it also holds them for me, so it, it does double duty. Now, for assembly, I could use biscuits, I could use dowels, but in this case, because none of the sides are visible, they're all going to be next to another cabinet or a wall, uh, I'm going to be using some one and a quarter inch staples. I've tested these. They work really, really well on MDF material. Uh, and of course, I'll be using my air stapler to attach them. I'm not going to be showing you everything in the assembly because some of it just 
hard to actually film, but you'll get the idea anyway. Well, I have good news and I have bad news. I do have material for the back, which I thought I had on hand, and I do. Uh, unfortunately, the, my biggest, uh, my biggest piece isn't quite large enough. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to do it in a couple of uh, pieces, and I do have enough pieces that I can split the back uh, and run it along the back of this inside shelf. So um, it's just another little challenge of woodworking that we have to adapt to. So uh, I'm going to cut a couple pieces and we'll slide those in and fasten them down. So here's my cleat, uh, and it's really simple. All it is is a board a foot wide, and I've just cut a 45 degree, uh, cut it in half by cutting a 45 degree angle of it. And basically one half of the cleat fits in the cabinet like that. The other part you fasten to the wall, of course you level it, and then all you need to do is lift the cabinet onto the wall, and then it automatically just sits on that like that, so it's a really quick, easy way of hanging cabinets. Well, that concludes my video for today, making an MDF shelf. And it's really that easy. And the nice thing I like about it is there's no painting. There's nothing to do. It's all ready to go. Uh, I've got the space in the laundry room already. I'll show you some before and after pictures. and You'll be able to see what it looks like. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.